Greetings. One of the most common questions that teachers ask me and that I've had is how to create a recording like this. How do I flip my classroom? How do I record audio over a PowerPoint presentation? Um, how do I record my screen? So there are a number of different ways to do that. There's different tools. Like right now I'm using Screencast-O-Matic, which is a free tool, but it's limited. It's limited to 10 minutes. Um, if you don't pay for the full version, you get a watermark on your screen and there's some other limitations. So a free unlimited tool that you have on your OCPS laptops is PowerPoint. So I'll show you just really quickly how you can record your screen using PowerPoint, how you can record audio over a PowerPoint presentation, and then how you can save it as a video and then post that video to Canvas. You can upload it to YouTube. Um, you can upload it to Edpuzzle as well and create your own Edpuzzle with it. So I just have a blank PowerPoint slide here and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So when you open up PowerPoint, you're usually at the home screen, this home tab right here. So what you're going to do is click on insert. And if you want to record your screen, look at that. They have a little button called screen recording. So if you click that, you have a few options. You select the area that you want to record. Um, you have audio as an option and you also have a pointer um, that you can use to point to different things that you're recording on your screen. Um, and then you hit the record button when you're ready to record. But first you have to select the area that you want to record like so before you get the option to record. But I'm going to cancel out of that um, because I'm not, I'm not going to record my screen again. Um, if you want to just record audio over your PowerPoint slides, so if you want to do a presentation and your voice is recorded over the presentation, then what you do is you go to Slideshow, and there's an option where it says Record Slideshow with this red button, and um, you, you can record the slideshow from a certain slide, or you can record from the first slide, and then all you do is you lecture over your slides just like you would in the classroom. And then you click next when you're ready to advance your slides. You just click on your slideshow when you're ready to advance, exactly as if you were um, recording in your classroom. And then um, you'll have an option to save. And you can save your, your presentation. Um, here's how you can save your presentation. You'll, you can save your presentation with audio. Here's how you can save your presentation as a video. You go to File, Export, and look at that create a video is right there. You can, you can choose the size and definition of your video. So you can make it 4K if you want it to. It's going to be a huge file size. Or if you want it really small, you can bring it down to 480p. So this is going to be the quality of the image and the size of the file. Um, and then you have the option to use recorded timings and narration or not to use recording time, timings and narr narr narration. Um, now, if you want to record your voice, then you're going to want to choose record, use recorded timings and narrations. The reason why that's not available to me right now is because I didn't record any narrations. And then what you'll do is you'll click create video and you'll have an option to, um, to export it as either an MPEG, which is like a generic video format. You can upload that pretty much anywhere, YouTube, Edpuzzle, or a Windows Media video. You save your video, and there, you're done. If you have any questions, please let me know.